Hi, today we are going to see one more topic from Informatica that is source qualified transformation. What is source qualified transformation? When you add a relational or flat file source definition to a mapping, you need it you need to connect it to the source qualified transformation. The source qualified transformation actually represents the row the integration service reads when it runs a session. It is source qualifier converts the relational data types. That means uh, we have already created the tables in Oracle, Sybase like that. That data types will be converted into the informative, uh, informatica native data types. And source qualifier performs various tasks. So we are going to see now what all the tasks it will perform. Normally, the source qualifier is used when we we are going to join the data if it is originating from the same source database means you can go for the source qualifier transformation if it is from different that means heterogeneous uh, data source means uh, we need to go for a joiner transformation so you have to know where to use the source qualifier and where to use the uh, joiner transformation heterogeneous means if the data source from different database one uh, employee table from oracle and a department table from sybase means we need to go for joiner transformation and we will see one small example over here and uh, you can easily understand i'm going to i have already created the department table and employee table in oracle and i have already imported the source also there is no need to tell again because i assume that i already know how to create the import the source and target okay just dragging this now over here and the source qualifier is automatically attached to the source definition and I am dragging the department also over here okay and there is no need of having two source qualifiers we can merge it to, to single to one hit it and click this you can create the source qualifier transformation either by this way or by this way okay I am going to click this icon and if I click this then it will it shows what all the source available department and employee are the two source at present available so they can choose that and it is getting automatically connected to it and we are going to change the name uh, okay okay uh, the source qualifier the naming convention it should start with SQ you should follow the naming convention in the development environment otherwise it will be confusing for you so the, always the source qualifier should start with the name SQ okay for expression transformation it should start with exp like that uh, for all transformation the naming convention should be followed then we will see the properties uh, are the main thing these are all the tasks that uh, we are going to see the sql query means uh, the sql query we can type over here uh, in this uh, value what what happens here if you if you type uh, the sql if you type your own sql then what happens is this sql overrides the system generated sql we will see it later first let me will see wh what happens if we directly connect it to the target target is here and uh, we will see what will what is going to happen if we connect to the target And we have created this one. Already have created the workflow over here, and uh, I assume that you know how to create the workflow. Workflow is very easy to create by just using this create, you can create the workflow. And uh, you have to create one session task. The session task should attach to the mapping already we have created. The map name is uh, the m underscore employee score src. And uh, after that, you have to give the connection properties. I've already created the uh, workflow so that 
I'm refreshing it. I have, as I've done some changes in the map, I'm just refreshing it. I will show you what all the properties we have to set over here. In source, we have to give the connection property and make sure that uh, that's not clicked, that's not ticked. And here uh, we have to change the target load type to normal. Okay, and the connection property you should remember to specify and uh, click up, click, click OK, then everything will be fine. Okay, it, will, it is very simple. Then click the start workflow. Then you can monitor over here. Before that, make sure that uh, this is. Make sure that the, the target is empty. Uh, let will see whether uh, we have got. Uh, yes, we have got rows in the target. 15 rows. The target is empty only. And here, what happened is we have not done any changes in the SQL. Uh, the total salary, the salary column will come over here. And we have not added the salary plus commission. So for uh, future purpose only, I have created this column total salary. And in that column that we are going to add the salary plus commission. Uh, now the only the salary column will come over here. Uh, I will show that source. Okay. And source. Okay. For example, take this Robin salary. Uh, it's 800. Here uh, Alan salary is 1600. We will see whether it is uh, right. Okay, that Alan salary is 1600 and his department number is 30 sales everything came over here and 800 we have not added the commission plus salary over here so the here the system generated skill is being used now we will see what the changes we are going to make over here generate SQL and we are going to add salary plus commission we have to use that NVLY means if there is if you add anything to null then the result will be null if you add a uh, null commission to the salary then the result will be null it should not be like that uh, so the null should be treated as zero for that we have to uh, use this function and you have to click this validate no errors detected and now we have done the sql override we will see what is going to happen now make sure the target is empty and commit it okay here you have to do some refresh as we have changed it and click start workflow monitor it it is running and it's get succeeded get the run properties uh, 15 rows now you can see that uh, commission is added to the salary okay see now it's coming 1900 before that salary is 1600 we can check the source or Alan. Alan, the salary is 1600, commission is 300. Now, here is Alan's total salary is 1900. So, that commission has got added. So, now we have done the SQL override. Okay, here we have done the SQL override. What is the user defined join? Actually, here the join itself uh, we have mentioned then department dot department number is equal to employee this is equijoin and uh, we you can remove this and you can specify this here actually okay in this way also you can use this but here in user defined join there are several types we have used the equi join over here and there is other joins also there like uh, left outer join right outer join you have to specify like this for the outer joins okay if the situation comes like that you have to specify that and one more property is source filter if you are going to use the source filter make sure that sql override should be should not be given if you give SQL override and source filter then SQL uh, query override will take the precedence then source filter uh, won't be get executed so make sure that uh, don't give all the um, set the properties okay if you're using the SQL override then it will be given the preference so make uh, now we can delete this okay 
then we are now we are going to give the source source what is the purpose of the source filter means we can filter the unwanted data at the beginning of the fl uh, data flow so that uh, our performance uh, the execute session will be executed very fast so the performance will get improved now I am going to use uh, employee salary or department number I will use department number is equal to 10 only few records will come say but here refresh it make sure the data has got deleted that it will get confused now it's only zero and here we are going to run and it's running now only four rows we have got in the target all will be the department number 10 okay and this is the way you can use this source filter okay and make sure that uh, we have not given the SQL query override and number of sorted ports what does it mean number of sorted ports and if you want to sort according to the department number or department name whatever be the things you can use this sorted ports for example I am giving the two means uh, mostly it will be sorted uh, according to the department uh, name I think here the department number and department name is getting selected uh, at the initial initially it is uh, taking the department table so uh, two means uh, it will be sorted by the department name but we will see what's happen make sure the data has got deleted and uh, I think I have removed the source filter or not uh, we have to remove this otherwise nothing will happen it's running succeeded succeeded see it has got uh, whether it is yes uh, actually it has got sorted according to the department name accounting then uh, research then sales ARS it has come in that order um, as the uh, system is generating SQL uh, as it initially uses the column department dot department number and the department uh, uh, dot department name that uh, d it is sorted according to the department and name otherwise if you change the query like this select employee number uh, comma employee name and then if you specify number of sorted ports is equal to 2 that means here if you specify 2 then uh, it will be sorted according to the employee name okay here the ports differs if the employee number employee name comes over there means it will be sorted according to the employee name if you specify one means then it will sort according to the employee number if you specify number one here means it will be sorted according to the department number okay distinct means here it will remove the uh, duplicate values that we have uh, seen in the sorted transformation itself like place here you can remove all the duplicates by using the select distinct and what is pre SQL and post SQL? We will see now. Here I have mentioned the theory. The pre SQL commands it's to run against a source database before the integration service reaches the source. Okay. Before it integration service starts reading the source, we are running some SQLs. If you want to run, you can use this pre post means after writing the data to the target, we can use this post SQL. Uh, sometimes, uh, if the indexes are uh, dropped while ex executing the map, uh, then we can create those indexes after loading the uh, target data. 
then output deterministic uh, what is it output deterministic means if you are using the same input file again and again you can click this output det deterministic that means um, the data won't be staged for recovery uh, every time what will have what's happening is uh, whenever the new file is uh, coming means it would stage the data for recovery purpose if you use this output as deterministic means uh, then there is no need of staging the data again and again so the output is deterministic can be used only when the data file is same for all session runs output reputable is used along with the output is uh, deterministic uh, this is about the source qualified transformation. We have seen how we can use the, the source qualified transformation effectively. Thanks. Bye.